I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined here at the home of British boxing, the York Hall, with Jack Fincham after a very exciting press conference. Oh, Joe, mate, I'm buzzing. I'm telling you, listen, at Giza, right, if he thinks he's going to beat me, mate, he's on another planet. The Giza's talking about calling out KSI. Maywe he called out Mayweather. What's he on about? What planet is he on? He ain't even got through me yet. I've, listen, I think this geezer thinks I've walked off the couch, laced up a pair of gloves and don't know what I'm doing. Mate, that geezer's gonna get, eat every single jab I throw at him, mate. I'm telling you that for a fact. I wouldn't have took the fight if I didn't think I could win it. And all that playground pushing, mate, that ain't me. I ain't gonna sit there playground pushing him and that, mate, push me. Oh, that's funny, I'll go home and laugh about it. Don't get under my skin, bro. Take your top off, you're making yourself like a clown in London, brothers. It's, it's like, oh, I don't know, man. Listen, I, I, I thought he was all right after that. Now I think he's a bit of a knob. Well, let's talk about it. Anthony Taylor. He's probably most known to the UK fans to fight in Tommy Fury. Yeah. Then there was a kind of a clash with Big John yeah. up there and yourself. And but that's what I'm saying, mate. Like, listen, the geezer wants, wants to be centre of attention. Like, do you know what I mean? All the time. Look at him over there. Look, oh, get every interview. Like, come on, bro. Like, listen, bro. Let's wait. Let's wait till next Sunday, bro. And let's see you come with that same energy. Come with that same energy next Sunday. Do you think he's underestimating you then? Because obviously you've got but the amateur he's, background. He's underestimating me on a big level. Listen, MMA and boxing are two different sports. You can strike me, yeah, bro. You, you, you tie me up in a fucking pretzel, mate. Oh, but we're not going to do that, mate. I'm going to jab your head off. I'm going to give you a boxing lesson. I will give you a boxing lesson. I'm not saying this and I'm going to spark you out in the first round, second round, third round, but you will not beat me. You haven't got the ability to beat me. And then, and a lot of people don't know that. People, listen, I've boxed in this place fucking since I've been this big. And that's just, it's fired me up now, man, to just show, listen, I, all that, I can't have all that, man, pushing and that like I'm a kid. What am I going to do? Push it like we're in the playground, bro. It's stupid. At the start, you were so kind of relaxed with Anthony Taylor. I know you've done a yeah, little bit with TalkSport and Gareth Hay. He was getting under my skin a little bit. Yeah. So do you just feel disrespected by him? Because it was nice before the press it conference. Was nice, but it was nice before this. I, 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 this put, I, just, I don't like all the pushing. I don't like all the pushing. I think all the pushing is fucking pathetic. So just moving away from Anthony Taylor, what's it like to get this opportunity in Dubai yeah. on a legend, Floyd Mayweather? Right, let me say this now. I'll say this now. And from this is the bottom of my heart, right? I am forever grateful at what life has been frying at me. And obviously I got my pro license two years ago. I turned over with Boxer and Sky Sports, that fell through. Francis Warren gave me a chance and he pulled this out of the bag. I'll be have to be a lunatic to turn that down. So I'm fighting on a May over undercard, mate. It's my pro debut, mate. Don't get better than that. What a stage to do it on. And I will not waste it. And I'll promise you that now. I'll, I'll tell you now, listen, listen, I'm coming home with a win. Just a couple more then. Jack, this isn't just a, just a one thing wonder for you, is it? You're taking this seriously, no, the no, program. No, no. So I'm not coming in here just to just have a fight and walk up with that and go home. But, mate, I, I, I've been doing this since I'm doing 12 years of age. So, I, I, and I had a break, do you know what I mean, as we all do. And I'm back now. And listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a man strength. I'm strong. I'm fit. I'm sparring top quality that he wouldn't even fucking get near, to be honest with you. And that's the truth. And that's not me being muggy, it's the truth. So I'm now going to showcase that and I'm going to see how far I can go with it because the sky's the limit, mate. Last one then, just a message for Anthony Taylor. What's going to happen next week in Dubai? Anthony Taylor, I think you should fucking... I think you should rethink your whole plan, mate. Rethink your whole plan. And stop talking about peekaboo style, mate. You're not Mike Tyson. Excellent. Jack, thank you very much for speaking to IFLT for best of luck. Cheers, mate. Take care. Cheers. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.